Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and I wanted to share with you a quick video about some portraits that I just did for a friend the other day because she needed some new headshots turned around really quick. Now I had to decide do I want to use the Nikon D4S or do I want to choose the D810? I know so many hard decisions to decide which one for both. As much as I love my D4S, I just wanted the resolution. I just wanted the sharpness of the D810, so I went with the D810. I used a 70-200 2.8VR2, and I used the 300mm Nikon 2.8VR2. Uh, yes, it's the VR2. It's the latest one. I purchased it refurb over the holidays because they had a great deal running, so I purchased that, and I wanted to actually use it for the headshots here. So I'm going to run through the images and give you some thoughts from time to time when I turn back here, but let's take a look at these images. So this was, it was pretty simple setup. I had the triangle of, of fury. We'll call it the triangle of fury setup. And as you can see, I will show you a little issue that I noticed right away, but didn't do anything about because I didn't want to at the time. Um, you can see that there are socks over the Kino flows on this one. There's no socks over the Kino flow on this one. So you can see the four lights underneath her eye. The catch lights are cool. Is that one a deterrent? Probably. But will most people notice and think it's an issue? Probably not. Um, so this was shot at 1 200th of a second f 5.6, 400 ISO, 200 millimeters with the Nikon 70 200 2.8 using the Nikon D810. Look how sharp this is, by the way. It doesn't get much sharper than this. That's why I use the D810. If you're doing portraits, that thing's insane. Uh, I've already edited these shots. I'm not going to go through and edit them for you here, but what I'm going to do is a raw edit of the week in Lightroom with Adam. Adam's going to get one of these files. He's going to edit it. I'm going to edit it. And then you guys can go ahead and edit it. And we'll have that photo up for you at some point. Uh, I'll put an annotation on the screen right now. And whenever the video goes live, you'll be able to download the raw file and edit it to show us what you think you would do with it. Now, I am not a master editor by any stretch of the imagination. I love shooting. Uh, and I like editing when it comes to the photojournalistic style photos. But I am not a master editor when it comes to doing portraits. I can do what I think looks good, but there's always some extra touching up or some extra things that a real deal editor can do. Some people outsource their editing. I know that Peter Hurley has people that do retouching to make the photos perfect the way that they want, the way that he wants them to be delivered. I don't really do a lot of portraits, so I don't send them out to other people. That's why I kind of do these raw edits to see what you guys would do with it. But if I ever needed to do a portrait like this in a larger capacity, I would find the right editor for me and see what they could do with the images. So let's go through this shot. I love this composition, don't you? But I'll let you in on a little secret. The C word was used here because the original image composed like this. Uh, let me just actually get it the whole size. Composed like this is off. Too much dead space here. Learn from this. Yes, it was cropped. It was cropped because I wanted to give her the right photo and didn't want the crappy shot out there. And yes, there you see it. It happened for that one. Whatever. Terrible composition, didn't have another shot that was better uh, in composition-wise, so that's why I went ahead and had to do that. So boom, because that is a better composition. Learn from that. I will learn from that. I don't know why I did that composition. I didn't do a good job there. It's an okay photo. I, I don't mind the editing, actually, personally. Um, why is there banding in the background? It's probably banding just from my screen. Yeah, when you zoom in, it's perfectly fine. She liked this image. This was actually her favorite. Not really my personal favorite, but whatever. It's up to her to choose what she wants to choose. I, she didn't want any horizontals, but I figured it was important to throw some horizontals in there for myself. I like this shot. I like the way that her tongue is kind of touching the back of her teeth there. And I did ask her if she wanted me to remove this red spot. She said that's just her lip. That's how it is. Some people would probably want to get rid of it, but I personally like this photo myself. I like this one a lot. Um, this one is good too. I like the composition, throwing her off to the side. I feel this one more. I do. I like that a lot. Um, and then, what's this, 190. Some people may say, why are you at 800 ISO? Because I backed her up a little bit. I was going for more of a body shot, and I wanted to do that. Uh, so I like the way that this looks. And then I liked it in color. I just felt the color worked as well. 
Uh, very tight. This is with the 302.8. And at 800 ISO, 800 ISO, you can see it's a little more grainy on the, Nikon, on the D810 side. Not a deal breaker. If I was using strobes, I'd probably be at like 50th of a, uh, 50 ISO because it would really make those nice and sharp. I should probably break out the strobes for this stuff in the future. Uh, this is a cool shot. I just like the lips. I just like the way that it's, it's a slight open of her mouth. The color, black and white, they both look good. I like the feel of both of them. So it's just a matter of personal preference and what you're using them for. And then finally, this. Um, it's okay. I like where she's at. I mean, you got the tongue on the back of the, the teeth. I don't mind that. I actually think that's pretty cool. It doesn't detract from it for me. I don't know about you guys. What do you think? Does that detract from it for you? But that is what I wanted to share with you. I just wanted to share with you some photos because people are like, do you ever shoot photos? Yes, I shoot photos. I just don't share them all the time. I don't always put everything up but I'm putting these up so that you guys can see them. Yes, the first image has a slight crompy McCromperson going on there because the composition was horrible on my part, and I didn't want to deliver that to her because I just didn't like the way that it was. So that is why it got that little bit of a crop going on there to make it right. So that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I use Adobe Lightroom here. Uh, a lot of people ask me, what do you use? And a lot of people that are new to editing and opening raw files go, what do you use? Well, I use Creative Cloud, the photo bundle, and I was all pissed off. Uh, everybody was pissed off that they wanted to do that $10 uh, a month thing. Actually, it was more than that. It was like $20 a month or something, and then they came out with the photo bundle. I can accept $10 a month to get Photoshop in Lightroom because I was never going to buy Photoshop for $600, and I don't go in there that much. I use the Creative Cloud for Lightroom mostly. That's why I have it. 10 bucks a month is pretty good, especially if you're in business. You're gonna make a ton more money than that off of a program like this. Uh, but that's really what I have to say about that. I'm gonna do that raw edit at some point, and I will let you guys know which one you can edit. And that is where I will leave it. Thank you guys for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to go ahead and give one of these files a raw edit, go ahead and click up on this screen. If it's active here on YouTube, it's going to take you over to the raw edit of the week that Adam and I do, so you can download that file and play with it. If it's not there yet, that means the video isn't live, but it will be there soon. Also, if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, go ahead, click on that red subscribe button on YouTube to subscribe to the latest videos. And here on Facebook, if you're there, don't forget to like the page or click the thing that says notify me of all posts, of all things that I put out there so that you can be there to get them when they go live.